pretty good. Oh, now we have to do it to you. Okay, everybody, here's what we're going to be doing. Um, according to the Movi website here, or Move AVI um, website here, we can get their product for free uh, by doing a couple of things here. And these things add up to percentages off. So if we like them on Facebook and reshare, that's 20% off. If we come down here, number six, there it says create a video tutorial for one of our products and post it on YouTube. Facebook or Daily Motion or Vimeo, we get 80% off, so that 20 and 80 there should give me a free copy of this uh, Move AVI program here. And what I have been using this program for is actually creating a green screen movie of my kids. So I'm going to go in here to edit this program, and this is the free trial I've downloaded. And my the reason I actually want to buy the program is because I'm having trouble finishing what I want to do here. Um, I'll go ahead and bring up the file I've been working with. Uh, basically what I did was I took some poster board and I put it up on the wall uh, behind my kids there and I video recorded it and then I went in on my uh, Xbox and I went into a custom game on Call of Duty and I played it and I uh, went into uh, theater mode basically which is where I can move my camera all around and kind of record what I want to record and I, I recorded that on my computer as well and I have both of these files and I took these files on video editor mo mode and you can see right here he says, uh, it says import and we click import and we say you know import media of course we import the media and we go down and we choose and of course on my desktop is where I had those files at um, you know I kinda named them all different ones there but there's kinda the list of obviously the green screen ones there for sure and then the Call of Duty ones were right there and so I put those in and you can see how they all showed up right there when I click on media and then what I do is I drag them down individually into here this bottom section of the video uh, or not the video but of the program and then on the side here you can barely see it but it gives you kind of a, a list it says uh, one right here where my mouse is and two and and you can right click and you could say um, oops see, sorry wrong place there uh, insert track and you can say insert audio track is the first option there let me zoom in on it if I can there we go we right, cr uh, right click on any of these one or two here and we'll say insert track and insert video track and it gives you another option right up here number three and basically when I started it it had I think one and two and one was a video and two was an audio well you know I, I went right click and I said delete track I didn't want the audio track and I added a video track now when I did that that gave me these two options here uh, do, 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 do. hang on insert track video track now when I did that I was able to come in and drag those files on top and so now I have two overlaying video files and of course one's going to play and you're not going to be able to see the other one but if I have uh, my green screen to show on top if, that whole, if this whole file set here is going to show on top what I do is you go over into the effects area which is right here Sorry about all the noise in the background, that's my kids. Um, but you see where it says chroma key. Chroma key takes and it can delete the uh, the green, whether you're using a uh, pink screen, a green screen, or a blue screen. And it takes and it'll, it'll remove that. So real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to delete um, delete the chroma keying I have already um, from this little track here. Delete, delete. And now we're just going to watch this one track I have without chroma key, and you'll kind of see what I do. And I have my kid kind of sneaking across just like that. And so what we do is we take and we do that chroma key, and we're going to pull it down. We're just going to grab it and pull it on top of that track like so. And you'll see right there 
it shows up with a bubble and it says one right there where my mouse is and if you right click it shows you what that one effect is and it's the chroma key so but now we're gonna watch that same track again with the chroma key on top of it and see what it's done is it's taken out the green and not only did it take out the green but it made everything behind it everything that was green just disappeared which allowed the other video which was the uh, the Call of Duty clip that I had on there it allowed it to play in the background so whichever video was on front you know the kid creeping across the screen and so what I did that was several things with uh, the kids creeping across while the guys were shooting at each other then another one where where they would jump down and jump into the battle and um, you know all of that and let me actually open it back up uh, to where I had it there I had it all queued up pretty nicely uh, there we go Call of Duty Kids save changes no okay uh, no, no. Okay. So now we have it all kind of queued up there. I have all the different uh, green screen videos dragged in the way I wanted them, and I have all the different. Uh, you know, loosen this up so I'm not so shaky. There we go. And then I have all of the other ones, and something else I did. Guys, guys, hey! And uh, I took and I actually uh, added a different effect as well. Hang on one second. Let me pause this. I'll come right back. Okay, sorry about that. We're back here. I had to take care of some screaming kids there. But um, basically, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I um, added another effect, and that effect uh, was uh, when it came across, my kids were kind of transparent. Um, and so I added the effect, and I'm going to see if you can see it here, kind of them on top. I'm going to try to take off that effect uh, of brightness. I enhanced the dark on it. Um, yeah, if you delete that, and say, okay, we're going to watch it again there, just that one little clip, and I, I don't know, I felt like he was a little light and a little transparent, because uh, you can actually, if you really focus in, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of see through him to kind of some of the stuff in the background there, so what I wanted to do was darken him up a little bit so of course over here you look at your different columns and it says uh, or was I at uh, trying to figure out which one it was I did it color correction no that wasn't it uh, adjust I went to adjust and I you know it gives you all the different options for that and the same thing there you kinda of click on it to preview it and you can see the difference when I click on it that's light and that's dark and it kind of shadows out the uh, the transparency a little bit but it's the same concept of, of how you get it onto the thing you can't just click it and it works you have to actually drag it down onto that one so what I did was and uh, you can see here I have uh, the darkness and um, uh, the chroma keying uh, I had to drag that onto every single set of the green screen clips there and let me scroll over here, make it a little bit easier. And uh, there's that one, and then and then the last one there, and that's kind of where it was. Uh, and of course, these were all just normal uh, videos on bottom here. That was all just a bunch of, of editing work. I used uh, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, Total Video Editor or something program was it I used? Uh, who cares what video program I use? Anyway, it's the one that came with my uh, capture card. Uh, anyway, and so I'll kind of show you here what this video looks like from beginning to end with all this stuff on it.
Okay, so, you know, kind of cheesy, kind of corny, but, you know, it was really fun for us to kind of do the recordings and stuff like that, and it was something I wanted to be able to do at home here, kind of after we had watched some other YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, you know, it gave me the opportunity to do it, but my problem was uh, when I came over and you say uh, right here, it says export, and I had a few times that the program actually crashed on me while saving things, but every time it came back up and it had auto-saved right where I had left off, but, uh, you know, save this video file, 3D movie, you know, upload to the web, all that stuff. Uh, all I've been trying to do was save this file to my computer. And, you know, it pops up and it gives me my choices of, uh, of what to do here. General video, AVI, all that's fine. You can go in, do custom settings if you want to. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter to me how it saves. Uh, best quality, slow. I even tried, you know, normal, which was fast. Which And you saw it's kind of pixelated and a little jumpy on the preview just from you know playing in the screen there uh, not as a video file but as a um, what do they call it I think a MEP file which was this um, movie editor player uh, what's it called M Move AVI video suite edit video is what I'm in and it's not a clear video but my theory is that once it's saved it'll play a lot smoother uh, so say okay and I say save and it says you know Thank you for using this seven day trial version. You know, activate it or buy it now. And I think it's like, I'll just say continue here. Save it on my desktop. It's Call of Duty Kids there. ABI, do I want to replace that file? Because that file never saved. Yes, try it again. And there we go. Crash dump cannot, cannot be created. So it closes out, starts me all over. Let me zoom out here so we can get this going. Uh, for anybody who has any concerns about whether or not my computer can handle it, it can. I assure you, I have no issues there. I'm running over eight gig of memory, and I got uh, I got nothing going on in the background. Um, everything's kind of off, and we're going right back here to this. And then, if I want to, you know, I could always try to again bring up this movie suite, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully, these guys can uh, can give me a um, I, uh, a copy of this for free here and, and maybe I can try it and see if that uh, solves my problems. Thank you.